You know it's gonna get real every time I gotta put on these shades. So listen, today we're gonna talk about what we eat in a day to stay lean. Why do you think so many people struggle with losing weight? Well, there are fat people everywhere. However, in my first day of being in America, I have noticed that the size of the people are a lot larger than the people in the UK. What are some of the foods that you eat? How many calories are you consuming? So while I'm trying to cut, my main priority is getting in like as much protein as I can. So the typical foods that I'll have are high protein yogurts that are low in fat. And then I'll also have things like chicken breast or lean turkey as my protein sources. And then when it comes to carbs, I like to have rice. I also like to have sourdough because it's good for digestion. And then I also add in kiwi and pineapple. Um, and for my fats, I then have some nuts and some coconut oil and olive oil. And yeah. Do you track your food? Do you monitor your food? Or do you just kind of go off a of feel? A bit of both. So while I'm traveling, I'm making sure to track my protein intake and just making sure that I stay like within a deficit. Um, however, at the same time, I'm trying to enjoy myself. So yeah, I'm gonna focus on keeping my protein high and carbs low so I can save all my carbs for my desserts in the evenings. But you were vegan growing up, right? Oh, yeah, 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 so. Was your, was your mom vegan or was it just you that was vegan? So I've actually, I was vegan for like eight years, but when I was growing up, I would only eat like chicken and turkey. When I went into secondary school and uni, that's when I properly went vegan. So your uni would be high school, cause I don't know everyone. <laughs> <laughs> How old were you when you decided to go vegan? Okay, so I want to say I was like 17 or 18 when I went vegan. What what made you go vegan? <laughs> Why did I go vegan? Was it some rad, radical diet that made you do this? Or? Um, I secretly think it's because I went on a school trip to Malaysia and just seeing all the, like, the animals running around and stuff, it really put me off. Seeing the animal made you not want to eat them. Yeah, I was like, I'm not eating that. <laughs> You're not eating animals. Okay. Did you notice any change in your body when you did that? Did you feel like it was a lot easier for you to stay fit? Did you feel like you were losing muscle? Like, what was what, what were there some things that you noticed when you decided to go vegan? I thought it was healthier, um, but looking back now, I don't think it was at all. Why? What What did you notice? So, it okay. This is where it gets difficult because when I was transitioning into becoming a vegan, I had a lot of digestive problems. So I thought being a vegan would actually help with that. So I cut out milk, um, I cut out dairy and all that stuff um, because I found I was lactose intolerant. So yeah, it definitely helped in that area to an extent because I was still like getting loads of bloating and stuff like that. Um, but now that I'm not vegan, all that bloating was from having too much fiber in my diet. Alright, listen guys, as you can tell, I got baby cuz with me. She's from London. You know, I shoot in Washington, D.C. So listen, the question I want to know is, do you feel as though, like, a lot of Americans are bigger than people in London? <laughs> well, there are fat people everywhere. However, in my first day of being in America, I have noticed that the size of the people are a lot larger than the people in the UK. So yeah, you have a different type. I personally think that deep down, we all know what we're meant to be doing to get in shape. However, we like to, as humans, you know, it's natural, we like to make excuses. So like, we want to enjoy it. But sometimes you just got to put health in front of enjoyment. So I have noticed that portion sizes in America versus London are different. A US medium sized drink is 55% larger than a medium sized drink in America and even 89% larger than a small drink in America. So yes, our portion sizes are bigger. So typically you may notice a difference. And I feel like, you know, different, like around the UK, people are definitely like a lot more active. You know, in America, like in DC, we have, you know, like so many different resources. We have Uber Eats and things of that nature. So, you know, it's encouraged. But when I was in London, it was so cold. I don't know why so many people were moving around everywhere, but you know, a lot more people use the subway when they're over there. So my next question is, what do you think really helped you get away from snacking? Like, I know so many people struggle with snacking. You know, they're like, man, you know, I'm, I'm in my calorie deficit, and then you know, late at night will come, and then I'll just start snacking. I'll start chewing on something. What really helped you kind of like get away from that? So to stop snacking, there's two main things that I've done. The first thing is reduce my sugar intake because I find that the more sugar I eat, the more I get addicted to it. So since I've reduced the amount of sugar I've been eating, I don't feel the need to have it all the time now. 
Secondly, I make sure that I have a good size meals throughout the day. So then when it comes to even time, I'm satisfied, so I don't really need to snack. What time do you start eating your last meal? I eat my last meal around eight maybe, and I'll usually go, to, well, I, I'll be trying to go to bed at 10, so like two hours before I go to bed. So what are some things that you've done in, along your weight loss journey to really help you lose weight? So I feel like when it comes to losing weight, the main thing is making sure that your digestion is on point. To make sure your digestion is on point, you firstly need to be making sure you're getting enough fiber, and you need to make sure you're drinking enough water. So a lot of people actually aren't drinking enough water, so their food's not digesting and they appear bloated um, and it just makes you feel fat. <laughs> so personally, I drink a lot. I drink around four to five liters a day. Um, that's not necessary for everyone, it's just because I'm very active. Um, but I would say everyone should be drinking a minimum of two liters. So yeah, obviously the more water you drink, the more water your body flushes out so you're holding on to less water so you're not bloated yeah man so y'all stop being nasty if your pee is yellow that's just that's just nasty man so you need, you need to drink some more water even myself i don't always do the best job at it so that's something that i always try to work on is make sure i'm staying hydrated so you say you're very active how many days when you're in the gym do you feel like it's helpful for you to really lose weight so i think on average you should be in the gym at least four days a week but you should be moving every single day Every day I get in 10k steps and I just feel like everyone is able to do that. How do you, how do you track your steps? I track it with my Apple Watch. Okay, yes, yeah, so I'll put a link to the Apple Watch in the description below and you guys can purchase it from there. It's a must do, it's a must have and it's fashionable. It would get gold with her outfit and everything. So a part of eating healthy and things like that, like do, do you do meal prep services or do you meal prep your food? So I meal prep my food. I feel like Making sure that you know what you're eating in advance, it makes a big difference to your, your weight loss journey. So with me, I make sure that I prep my food usually on a Sunday or Monday for the whole week. I'll keep half of my food in the freezer, half of it in the fridge. When it comes to the middle of the week, I'll take the rest out of the freezer and just like cook it as I go. Um, also, is that second batch a little dry though? Is it, is it a little dry? No, the, the way I cook it and the way I freeze it is perfect every time. <laughs> Shit, it's perfect. All right. Every time it is. All right. Yeah. Yeah, so I've noticed for me, like when I'm not meal prepping, guys, I will eat whatever is around me. So that could be McDonald's, Popeyes, you name it. So it's very important that I meal prep. I don't meal prep for the whole week i feel like the chicken breasts they're not as fresh i try to meal prep every three days typically it will always meal prep on thursday for sure because i know the weekend i'll be busy making content moving around so every thursday i always meal prep all of my food all right man so listen have you ever had a friend you know she was you know she's getting a little bit heavy she's getting a little bit you know plump as you guys were saying like did and you're like hey girl you know let's uh you come over to my crib you know i help you meal prep let, let's eat let's see healthy you know what, me and my friends like to joke around, so if someone's piling on the pounds, they will probably hear a joke about it. I'm not going to oh, lie. Really, you'll make a joke about it. <laughs> Somebody will. Um, or it might just be a little thing like, hey, do you want to come to the gym with me? Like, you know? But, do, but I, feel like, I feel like every friend group has that one friend that they just like, it's, 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 it's okay for them to be a little bit heavier. I feel like they know they are. And so either they accept it or they join in and, you know. <laughs> So that, so that friend that you recommended, did they help? Did they come to the gym with you or did they meal prep with you? I always suggest every friend to come to the gym with me. If you decline it, then that's on you. <laughs> okay, 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 all right, bet, bet. All right, y'all, so listen, man, if you guys have never been in the gym before, you guys are new to fitness, I'm gonna provide you guys with a free fitness ebook. All you have to do is email me the word ebook at contentperformance at gmail.com and I'll provide it with you for free. This is going to give you a meal plan. This is going to tell you about how many steps you need, diet, training. It's at home. You don't even need weights for it. So we're, we're getting rid of all the excuses and we're just going to get the results. The link will be in the description below. Email me the word ebook at contentperformance at gmail.com. Cousin, thank you for coming out, man. She has me cracking up, y'all. They... <laughs> The UK is so funny, man. But yes, guys, you know, it's, it's important to make sure you're tracking what you're consuming each and every day. Cousin, do you have any last words for them? Stay safe. Stay fit. We'll, we'll, we'll say that. Stay fit. <laughs> Content performance, we out.